high definition. From the station on your side, this is Waiting News Online. It's not just a crime, it's also a sin. Authorities say Benita Sue Sultan has been slipping into places of worship and making off with people's purses. Jason Marks talked with one of the victims. Eastern Shore Chapel on Laskin Road is one of the oldest congregations in Virginia Beach. Been in existence since 1689. It's also one of the most unique. What sets this church apart from others, I would say, is our desire and um, intention to be inclusive um, and to welcome um, all people. Church members say earlier this month, someone took advantage of that kindness. I don't understand how anyone can take something that belongs to someone else. 48-year-old Benita Sultan was at Eastern Shore not once, but twice. And police say both times she walked out with someone else's purse. I've had to change my credit cards, rekey my house, the church has been rekeyed. But police say people at Eastern Shore weren't the only victims. We're told the same thing happened at Star of the Sea at the oceanfront and at the Judeo Christian Outreach Center, where Sultan's accused of taking a purse from a volunteer. The music coming from Deborah Quam's office now helps her relax. Her purse was taken from under her desk. Somebody has access to my personal life, my children, my pictures of my children, things that are precious to me, and I didn't give them permission. Police say Sultan has a lengthy criminal history and is known to use several aliases. Obviously, um, is a professional. If she would do use her gifts to do good, um, she could probably do great things, but she has chosen to go around and steal from people. Now, people with the churches say they're obviously, they've lost a sense of security, but this is not going to stop them from welcoming strangers in. Now, if you have any idea where Sultan is, give the crime line a call. It's 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Newport News firefighters had to call for extra equipment to put down an apartment fire on Circuit Lane. Crews arrived around 7.30 and found smoke and flames coming from the roof of the middle apartment of this 12-unit building. We're also told that a 17-year-old neighbor climbed the roof and started spraying the flames before crews got there. Fire started in the uh, started in the attack and rule um, and was also ruled accidental in the attic actually and was ruled accidental. Ten on your side, viewer Denico Pruitt was nearby and shot these pictures of the scene. The home is now condemned. The apartments next door suffered smoke and water damage. And the York Procosan Sheriff's Office tracked down two teens who escaped from custody. We're told that someone recognized 17-year-old Tara Blair and 15-year-old Khalil Harris and then called 911. After a short chase on foot, deputies re-arrested the pair around 7 o'clock Thursday night on Route 17 near Siege Lane. They escaped this afternoon during transport. Both teens were in custody for felony charges and now face new charges of escape assault and battery. Now in high definition from the station on your side, this is Super Doppler 10 online. And a quick look at temperatures into the area during the day today. A beautiful, calm evening uh, throughout the area. Not much wind. A stray shower is possible, uh, but nothing real, real big. We had a high of 78 degrees uh, for Thursday. 76 is normal for this time of year. We're likely to be around 78 again coming up on Friday. Uh, here's what the way we were during the day. Basically highs into the upper 70s later on in the afternoon. And haven't cooled on down that all that much during the evening hours. Uh, stray shower or storm is possible overnight or during the day coming up. For, uh, for Friday. Uh, it's not going to dominate our day at all. Weather is going to improve hugely for the weekend. It'll be around 80 uh, for high temperatures over the weekend. And then the mid to upper 80s for next week. Very, very warm weather uh, coming up next week. Here's what's ahead uh, coming up for tomorrow. It'll likely be around 78 degrees. Slight chance of rain late in the afternoon uh, or uh, late in the mid to late afternoon. And again, it's not going to dominate the day. 80 degrees on Saturday, 82 on Sunday. And again, mid to upper 80s next week. Stay with Wavy News 10 for all your day's news. Our next newscast, 5 a.m. We'll see you then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online.